she's the first Miss America from North Dakota, Mun became the first ever woman from the Peace Garden state to claim the prize. We've only had three girls from North Dakota ever make it to the top 10, she said during the pageant. It just proves that it doesn't matter where you come from geographically. If you have the ability to do it and you dream it, you can do it. 2. She wants to be the governor of North Dakota. The Brown University graduate's dream is to become the first woman elected governor of her state. In fact, she comes from a family of firsts. I am related to Victoria Claffin Woodhill, the first woman to run for U.S. president, the first woman to operate a brokerage firm on Wall Street and one of the first females to found a newspaper. Since it runs in my family, what will be my first? Mund wrote in her biography on the Miss America website. 3. She has an opinion on the Trump administration. During the Q&A segment of the pageant, Judge Maria Manunos asked Mund about President Donald Trump's controversial decision to withdraw from the Paris Agreement. I do believe it's a bad decision, she said, earning applause from the audience. Once we reject that, we take ourselves out of the negotiation table and that's something that we really need to keep in mind. There is evidence that climate change is existing, so whether you believe it or not, we need to be at that table, and I think it's just a bad decision on behalf of the United States. 4. She's a dancer, Mun, who is a national dance champion, impressed the judges with a jazz routine to Michael Jackson's The Way You Make Me Feel during the talent portion of the show. According to her Instagram, she has been dancing her way through life since 1996. 5. She's charitable. Mun was selected as a finalist for the Jean Bartle Quality of Life Award in the pageant's preliminary competition for her commitment to community service. According to the Bismarck Tribune, she has partnered with Make a Wish North Dakota for the past 10 years, raised $78,000 and granted 23 wishes for children in her home state.